Good evening to the Brookfield Selectman's meeting of uh, February 5th, 2019. Would you like to rise and join me by saluting the flag? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I would like to uh, approve some warrants, so I would like a motion to uh, approve an expense warrant for one twenty-two nineteen for sixty-seven thousand seven hundred ninety-five dollars and ninety-three cents. Keep going. Approve a payroll adjustment warrant for one sixteen nineteen for seven hundred and ninety-one dollars and thirty-one cents. Approve a payroll warrant for one thirty nineteen. Uh, one hundred and sixty-four thousand three hundred and forty-six dollars and thirty-seven cents, and approve an expense warrant for two five nineteen for forty-one thousand nine hundred and forty-one dollars and eighteen cents. You have that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And then we have a uh, selectman's meeting. There's two sets from one. Eight nineteen. I'd like a motion to approve yep. those. You have a motion to approve okay. the two sets. Second. All right. And then I would also like a motion to uh, from for reports from other departments and minutes for the cultural council. Did you? Pardon. Did you want to vote the approval of the selectmen's oh, meeting? Oh, okay. I didn't. I'm sorry. Okay. Vote to approve the selectmen's min minutes so from the two sets of uh, meetings. Yeah. Aye. 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 And I would um, also like a motion to acknowledge minutes and reports from other departments, the Cultural Council minutes from 1-7-19, Fire Department report from January 2019, and EMS Department report from January 2019. You have that motion? Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 And I would like to uh, have um, acknowledged two anniversaries that we have in the fire department for Lieutenant Daniel Driscoll for 10 years and firefighter David Merlo for eight years. And I would like to congratulate them for their service that they've given the town all these years. All right. Uh, announcements. Uh, a there's a winter parking ban in effect from November 15th to April 1st for all public ways in the town during the hours of 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. No parking on the streets, whether or not snow is predicted and anyone in violation will receive a citation of $25 for the first offense. The district director to Senator Ann Gobi will be holding office hours here tomorrow from 2 o'clock to 3 p.m., and all are welcome. Representative Berthium will hold office hours from noon to 12.45 p.m. on Tuesday, February 26th in the Banquet Hall in the Town Hall. Constituents and town officials are invited to meet with him to express any concerns or issues that they may need assistance with. Please feel free to contact Donna if you would like a private meeting at 774 402-4742. And then I would also like to remind uh, all the voters of the, in the town, on February 26, 2019, we're having a special town meeting at 7 o'clock p.m. here in the banquet hall. Right. Does anyone else have any announcements? Or anything? No, let's keep going. Um, okay. no, no, no announcements, um, but uh, I'd like to submit that when we, we just received um, a monthly report from our grant writer, and I, I think it would be great to share that with people, if not this meeting, perhaps tonight. Oh, sure. Yeah, I know. Yeah. We had just received. I saw that. Yeah. yeah. She's she's doing a fabulous job. Yeah. There's a, there's a couple things on that list that there are future opportunities that I think are yeah. probably yeah, worth the discussion. Is. Yeah. She is. She's doing a good job. We have to thank. It's a good thing we got Kathy on board. Yes. Yeah. Getting it done. Okay. Our next thing here is the solar permit fees discussion with uh, Mr. Scott Mansfield, who's our. Uh, Warren expected. Would you like to come have a seat? Sure. Thank you for taking the time to listen to me. You're welcome. Should I stand? No, you oh, can no. sit. No. Be comfortable. <laughs> Be comfortable. <laughs> All right. So, actually. Oh, yeah. Sister, yeah, I have copies for. You do have copies? Yep. Okay. Oh, Same, Same one? Same one. Okay. Same one. Great. Fabulous. Okay. So, basically, what, what I'm hoping the town does 
I'm the, I'm the wiring inspector for several towns, and as you know, solar fields are going up oh, in yep. every town. Uh, and the difference between a large scale solar project and a residential project is a massive amount of time for the electrical inspector, whoever it may be, whether myself or my alternate or somebody in the future. What I don't want to happen is have any effect to the townspeople over this hopefully improvement to the fee schedule. Um, in, a, in a regular large scale solar project, the electrical inspector can put up anywhere from 75 to 300 hours, as we know from yeah. doing the two uh, so, down here mm -hmm. that are just being done now. Uh, the, the, the time includes, and I, I wrote it down here for you, the time includes education of the inspector because it's constantly evolving. Our code book right now isn't even keeping up with solar. It's changing so fast. Our code book caps out at 1,000 volts. Solar systems are now at 1,500 volts. So our code book's not even keeping up as fast. So education-wise, it's actually a very big part of whoever your inspector is going to be. The residential side, which I don't want it to affect at all, hasn't changed that much. Um, so that's not an issue. But with, with the large-scale solar, um, you're there every day. And as a project goes over the course of four to five months, the beginning of it is all the underground, all the engineering, all the approvals, all this oh, yeah. conversations between one organization, organization and another in the inspection portion. So it's very time consuming. I don't want the town to have to pay for that time. What I want is the contractor, the, the energy company that's going to benefit the rewards of this solar project to pay that compensated time. Um, right now what we do, we have a setup where the max we can charge them is $400. And you're paying my salary out of that $400 that you get. Mm -hmm. And really, I think you're losing, yeah. you're not losing money, but the inspector's not getting paid. Yeah. It, it works out to about 18 cents an hour by the time it's done. Yeah, so crazy. what I propose here is that, and, and I did it with the other towns, they, they approved it unanimously, the other towns that I work for, is we have a, a fee of $2.50 per KW on the DC side for large solar fields. Mm -hmm. That pays and compensates every need of the electrical inspector if done properly, um, and, and he's making an average fee that the electrician would make to be able to do a job. Um, it works out pretty good because what happens is, and, and it's two, two parts, so if we do $2.50 a KW, and I broke it down on the back here, I gave you a little scenario. Yep. Um, th there's more than, most of them are gonna be more than 100 inspections, and when I say inspections, that could be a phone call for 15 minutes saying I approve or disapprove mm -hmm. a certain item or part. But if, if it breaks down to a 4KW system, that's a $10,000 permit fee. Out of that $10,000, the town would get 20% immediately. So you would get $2,000 instead of paying me $400 for that original permit fee. Mm -hmm. the, the electrical inspector would get the other $8,000, but keep in mind there's 100 inspections there, give or take if not more, plus the consultations and everything else that goes with it. So spread out over eight months, that's not a lot of money. Mm -hmm. um, um, can I just jump in for just yes. a second? Um, the other advantage is with this being part of a posted schedule, it would be very transparent to folks that were trying to decide like Whether what they're the path do it. to development would be. I, absolutely. Having that pre-posted would add a layer of transparency. They can plan around it for the absolutely. project plan. They can ensure that the, the folks that, that um, are coming in asking for the project Mm -hmm. cover it for them so it's not going to necessarily hurt the townspeople. Preliminary makes right. it a lot easier for them so they yeah. know in advance. They, they can plan. And, and again, what I don't want to have happen is have any of this affect anything to the townspeople. It's, I don't want it to be an extra tax or an extra fee or whatever. I want it to not affect that part of my job yeah. at all. Um, now, the $2.50 that we came up with, with it, the first town that I did this with is the town of Brimfield. The selectman there actually asked me for it because we did not have anything set up for it, and they know state level and around the, the state, there was these fees coming, and, and why should the town not benefit? Because they're doing rebates on taxes and in lieu of and this other yeah. thing. They need to get yeah. some sort of compensation, yeah. and they're paying the secretaries to do part of our work. So the, the town of Brimfield was the first one, and I said, sure, why not? And 
with that comes, if you look on the first page, basically, I have the wear and tear on my vehicle. I have a, a very nice truck, but I have to get in on these job sites. They don't put solar fields on the nicest job sites. They're, they're, the one that I'm doing right now in the town of Wales is 1,800 feet off the road, up on a farmlands, over the bank and around the corner, and then that's where it's starting. So I was there today, just trying to get into it was a project. And it destroys the truck. As you know, they're not good for going off road, but you gotta get in there. Mm -hmm. um, so truck training time, it's, it's just, and I think a benefit to the town just to be able to get that compensation from the contractors. Now what we did in the other towns were, we're gonna do this, it's, we don't wanna just penalize solar. If we have something large coming in, they wanna put a shopping mall, which is 5,000 square foot or more, control construction project. So not to the residents. They wanna put a shopping mall in the town of Brookfield and everything gets approved and passed, then that contractor will also pay a very similar fee uh, based off the square foot of the building. Do you have a schedule for that as well proposed? Uh, I, I actually didn't put that on here, uh, but I just wanted, and I can get it to you. It's the same, I do the same in all the towns. Okay. And again, the town of Brimfield was the one that said, we want to do this. Yeah. And so it was very easy for me to come up with the number. Um, and I can give you what we did there. The town of Warren picked it up, they loved it. And uh, the town of East Brookfield also yeah. picked it up and loved it. So I do their, their towns also. Um, and, and basically, again, it's not, gonna, it's not gonna harm the town's people as a tax to them. It, there'd be no change to them. They pay my normal stipend. And how many large controlled construction jobs we have in, East, in Brookfield? Yeah. And, and the thing of it is, is that for like something like that solar farm, when you're talking million dollar projects, oh, so. if they can't front the ten thousand yeah. dollars for the electrical inspection fee, oh. probably not an entity that we want to actually do it. And this is nothing. We at two fifty uh, uh, kW. Yep. We are just over. Uh, most towns are five bucks. Okay. I don't think we need five dollars. No. Uh, two fifty to me is is not being greedy. Yep. It's sufficient to pay what my average time is, and I might not be the inspector in two or three years. It might happen. Yeah. So it's setting it up for a good inspectional system yeah. for whoever may take the job in the future. So it's fair compensation. Uh, but but I what I would like it to be is, is and, and the wording is controlled construction projects. Okay. So, and that would include solar. And, and that way there, you know, God forbid we put a, a mall in a town of Brookfield, but if it does happen, we have coverage yeah. to protect yeah. that because if, when I actually wired Tantasqua, I was the head electrician that wired that, the inspector was there for two or three hours a day to build a job yeah. like that. And if our fees cap out at $400 for a permit yeah. fee, that make any sense. and you're there for two and a half cool. years, there's no compensation for that inspector. Right. So um, if something like that could happen with our elementary schools. Yeah, say they were, yeah, we say could they were doing a big capital improvement. Yeah, absolutely. To, to that's probably a portion of the electrical. Yeah. That's probably one of the most realistic thing in the next 10 years is we we'll probably will build a sure. brand new school. And you know that goes out to uh, uh, an owner would do it, the project, and then would turn over to the town after mm -hmm. occupancy. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's what I propose. And I, I just, um, this is the only town that I do inspections in that we don't do that. Um, and it, it's beneficial to the town. Well, this would be something we'll put on our, our annual town meeting mm -hmm. in June. And so if you wanted to just get us the wording of how the other towns... I can absolutely do that. ...for an article. Yep. So uh, I think, I, I would think it it's be, a good idea. Would it be too late to open and close the warrant for... For the special one? the special? Can you get us the verb... How quick could you get us the verbiage? I could give you the verbiage writing right now. I know it off the top of my head. I was going to reopen the meeting because we do have a couple articles to put on it. Yeah, okay. I can get it to you first thing in the morning in writing. Yeah, we could great. put a placeholder, vote to put a okay. placeholder on there and get, get the verbiage in the morning. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. The verbiage yeah. As, as received from the yeah. inspector. Yeah. So in the 12 years that I've been your electrical inspector, the only controlled construction project, with the exception of the, the town, uh, the police station, which we waived all fees for, and I would do that again, was the uh, Dollar General store. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that one there would have been under that envelope of control construction. And that's the only one in the 12 years that I've been here other than the police no, station. Okay. So we haven't had a lot of missed opportunities yet no, other than the fees. solar fields. We've had three solar fields, yeah. but it doesn't have to. it's... No. It have to for the time it. that I do for my other salaries, I, I'm, I feel as though it's fair because it's an educational thing for me also. But when we but we're know, at the tipping point now where we need to just go ahead and do it. 
in this solar field here has tipped me over the edge because I don't know it's been it's been a headache oh, sure. and I've had a lot of issues with the contractor there okay. um, I don't know if this is well another time for that but um, we're actually getting ready to shut their power back off right now because uh, everything's tested and I don't want them getting their monies when it's not approved and um, um, all the boards have not signed off on that project yet so I have the power to shut the power off until all the rest of the boards are there and we're going to be doing that tomorrow or, or okay. Friday all right so yeah when we reopen it we'll uh, we'll put that on and what did, what do we want to call that you said uh, control construction um, I call it, we called it 80 20 split control Control construction projects, 80-20 split. And that would not apply to any town building that is renovated or pre-existing or something. But we've built a new school, then yeah, something like that. But Okay, so you'll get the awarding, the verbs. I will do that tomorrow. first we'll, thing in the morning. And, we'll put it, and then we'll uh, yep. agree to put it on tonight. Cause you're, cause any I have questions? One. Yeah, I get two. Okay. Yes. Um, so back to your, your work in the other towns. You've seen no impact as far as we don't want to harm ourselves as far as incur again one thing I don't like solar fields on egg, egg or farmland just just because they just don't look right so that, and I, that being I, said I agree with you on that and unfortunately the federal government is the one so, that's allowing it in lieu of us you just don't have we have no control over it that's so. correct so but this would not in any way injure the town as far as it's uh, competitiveness no actually it's actually going to bring it that right now the town is hurting itself okay. by not doing it because we can only charge up to four hundred dollars yep. when the town would get two thousand immediately and, and all of our neighbors and that's going to go right the general yeah. that's going to go right the general fund but well, and then the second the second part is the seriousness because we do have everybody coming through the door it seems like everybody coming through the door to propose these things yes putting this in place does talk to the seriousness of them absolutely it's going to take the people that are that are thinking about um well let's just throw it in there and now that at least they have everything preliminary in, in, in front of them we have at least two more projected ones coming into i've heard three as oh, of right now another one I've yeah heard i've heard three uh but that sometimes could take six months to a year sure. Sure. from designing stage yeah. to conservation to planning board okay Good. no i don't have any problem with this at all and i don't think the rest of the board does either nope nice. i will going. get you that first thing in the morning yeah okay. to karen okay. actually i might even do it tonight okay scott thank you awesome. well thank you for taking thank the time coming in to hear me okay did anybody up here have any questions or we all set thank you nope. thanks okay. scott. thank you enjoy thank you. Okay. Thank you for letting me serve the town for 12 years so far. <laughs> Thank you. We appreciate Scott. it, seriously. Keep going. Okay. The next one on the agenda is to sign the right of first refusal. This is from um, Robert Jefferson. On um, They want to remove 14.5 acres on Mel Lane and from the Chapter, chapter 61 program. And they, um, the buyer wishes to build a single family home on the parcel. And he he realizes they're responsible for the back taxes. So, uh, we, didn't we already vote on this last we week? It was, it was, it was two. It was yeah. two acres, and now he wants to do fourteen. And I don't have any problem with uh, signing off. Take a, vote. No. take a vote. Do we yeah. want to take a vote to let him take fourteen point five acres out? Out of sixty one. I was chapter sixty one B. Yeah, and, and and back to why we wouldn't encourage I mean we're already back to open space and the numbers yeah. of acres of open space within the town is significant yes. and therefore um, allowing a single family home to be built is actually a benefit to the town yes so do we have a vote to uh, for the yeah motion to uh, sign the yeah. right of uh, deny the well the right the right the right of the right the right of 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 the right all in favor? Aye. Aye. Now, even though they're taking the full parcel out, they're, that's still going to be just a single family home. Yeah, yeah they just put a single family home. Okay. 
The ne next one is on the deficit spending on the snow and ice. Um, we had approved spending of 50000 and uh, as of today, um, we, they want to re-vote to go beyond this date. And so Herb said that, that it'll stay the same, the 50000 Right, so we just want to ratify the original okay, just, yeah. motion. And they, and they did send out their working numbers. Yeah, I didn't we saw go through it in yeah. detail, but I know that they got it to everybody. Yeah, I saw it. it was, yeah. Everything was just yeah, everything, so, everything looks in line yeah. with, with appropriate expenditures for snow and ice. Okay, I would like a vote to ratify the $50,000 that we had approved on February 5th for the deficit, deficit spending for $50,000. Yep, you have that motion? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Oh, yeah, they, they had it all here, too. Yep. yep. The city yep. just forgot to send it the last time. Okay, the next one is What's on... Up? What? Do you want a copy? We only had two snowstorms. Yeah, but this goes back to getting the trucks ready. Yeah, yeah. And getting the material. So it's a combination of the material that was purchased at the beginning of the year. Mm -hmm. Okay. We did have a couple of incidents where they did need the salt in spite of the fact that it wasn't yeah. wasn't snowstorms. Okay. Um, and the rest of it has been a, appropriate vehicle yeah. maintenance prep for plowing. So, I mean, if you want to go through the details of it, did you forward a copy of that, what we, we received to uh, advisory? One, yeah. Would we you have, go ahead and we have give them the hard copy, and then uh, if you'll forward the soft because, copy to yeah. Steve they Gillis? They got a spreadsheet out, and they had... Steve Gillis already has Oh, he has it? Okay. Yeah. Okay, great. Do you want to see it? It's all out there. So... So, and, and remember, Ken, we do intentionally under budget that every year because we know that the 75 is not going to cover really any any significant amount of it. How much does Andy get left out of the 75? I'd have to, I, I can it, ask him for a cubic, it, cubic yardage that is that is left, but I didn't go that far. Wasn't it about 33? What's that? 33,000? Yeah, it was like 33 for, was from 30, the beginning yeah, of the season. Yeah, I think it was about 33,000 they had left. And we're into February. I mean, even though we haven't had that much bad weather, we don't know what's coming down yet. And everything's outlined. Very, Cindy's put the spreadsheet out, and it tells everything that they've used it for. Okay. So we, if we don't spend it, we don't spend yeah, it? Yeah, if we don't spend Yeah, that's right. The next one is to sign Chapter 90 project request. Okay. There's two of them here, I guess. One is for, this one is for uh, Central Street between Common Street and Route 9, right. and it's for $246,740. Yep. <clears throat> so I'd like to have a motion to Mo sign. Motion to move forward with the Central Street project. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Well, I guess we is there one or seven? No, it's just two of them. Yeah, it's two. It's two. But you have to sign four places, I think. I four That's gorgeous. Four? I think there's four tabs on there. Okay. Two on each. Okay. I'm surprised it's not in blood and triplicate. That's DOT. <laughs> At work. Actually, I need to get whatever number that you or, or, or mailing address for making a claim to Mass DOT. They owe me $120 for that Route 20 pothole. Oh. No, they do. I got, I, 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 uh, I hit, uh, there was like a sinkhole pothole. I was one of 18 or so people oh, yeah. back a week and a half yeah. ago yeah. That, um, that, that the sinkhole was so bad that we had a tire changing party in the Sturbridge Seafood parking lot. <laughs> that was just gorgeous. Okay, that's the one that all three of us have to sign. And now, this one is for, okay, three of these on it. Okay. Mm. Yeah, you just have to sign on that. I, oh, all right, so just sign below. Sign in the, yeah. in the spaces. And the next one is? Yeah. And, okay, and the next one is um, a, to, uh, they're going to, uh, three-year lease on the purchase of a 2018 130G John Deere 
excavator and the annual amount for each year is $69,676. And I would like to have a motion. So that motion. Second. Any any discussion on this? No. All in favor? Aye. What was that one? 69 what? Okay, where is it? Oh, it's $69,676. That's what we have to have to do Central Street. Street. Mm. Yep. And Mass DOT says yes. And I saw Herb had in the Brookfield Citizen that he'll they'll start that in spring and it'll probably go right through the summer. So he says people will probably have to find de alternate routes to to be able to come down Central Street. Because he doesn't want any parking at all on the street. Well, that's what I would bring that forward. That's Memorial Day. Mm. So we should start talking about Memorial Day. Yeah, yeah. We, we need to have a different start and end point. Yeah. Or... Yeah, the idea was to meet at Pillsbury and walk to the center. Mm. So that might be So an it's idea. only, there isn't another sheet in here, Karen. It's only, it's my signature on this one. There isn't for three people. There wasn't another one. Oh, so that. Okay. Well, if there's more this than that, we can just stop in the office and sign it. Yep. All righty. Okay. This is from um, the Collins Center, where we had gotten the um, the grant money from the Community Compact, and they had wanted to extend extend it. It was the agreement was was up on uh, December 31st, and uh, they wanted to extend it till June 30th, and I said no, because I said that we would like to have all of that so we can have approval at town meeting. Absolutely. So it's been extended till May 31st, 2019. Okay. And I'd like to have a motion so I can sign. Do you have a motion to extend Second. that contract? Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Next one on the agenda is an appointment. This is to appoint um, Emma Corrado to be the advisory board committee's clerk. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 wage authorizations to approve. I do have a question. Have all of these been through the personnel, personnel board? Boards? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we signed all of these and we met last week. Fabulous. Yeah. All right. The first one, do we want to uh, vote on them? Package. All in vote? Yeah. Okay. Because okay. we're really ratifying the personnel board's recommendation. Okay. The first one for is Dennis Clark. Uh, he was hired to be the new water superintendent and primary operator. And uh, the salary is 75000 per year. And if you want to see, we have all of his, um, his resume and all of his credentials is here, if you want to see that. Okay. Yeah. I'll you find somebody. I got, a, I got a chance to see him back when they still had a couple different applicants. So. Mm -hmm. Highly qualified individual. Okay, and then we have uh, from the advisory board, we have for Emma Crotto, who's going to be the clerk. Uh, for a salary, uh, for an hourly um, pay of eleven dollars and fifty cents. Sign that one. And the next one is for um, Patricia King, who was she was just the uh, clerk for the assessors. Now she is going to be an assistant assessor, and it's a grade ten and a step nine, and it's going to be nineteen dollars an hour. And then the next one is for 
Uh, Patricia King also, she's going to be the um, accounting clerk uh, for an hourly wage of $14.11. And then this is in the treasurer's uh, department. Uh, for, uh, our treasurer is out on a leave of absence, so Lanny Crustacea is the um, interim town treasurer in the, for a salary of, 20, I mean, the present hourly rate of $26. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. No one to have taxes to go through the roof. Well, you guys are on the bench. Do you have discussion, Kevin? No. I highly recommend Mr. Clark for the water. Good kids. Oh, here. Let's get all this stuff. Yeah. Yeah, we'll like, uh, you, yeah. I'll you steal it. Yeah. Mine should clip it all together. Yep. The next one is to ratify the acceptance of some Munibid sales. Um, the, uh, we have, it was on the uh, 20, 2005 Crown Victoria and the 1986 M GMC that was sold today on Munibid. And uh, the Crown Victoria, the high bidder, Michael Burness, is $550, and the 1986 GMC Cab and Chasey was to Donald Robert for five thousand one hundred dollars. Motion to approve or ratify. Motion to ratify that. Second. Yep. Any discussion? <coughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. At least I'm not sitting in the yard. Yeah. And that's okay. a decent amount of money to get back. Okay, now these are frame. these are special permits, and we'll vote them on. This is for. Uh, okay. This event is for five. 26 2019 on Quaybog Pond is for the Mass Bass Alliance. And then this is for 330 2019 on Quaybog Pond for Mass Bass Alliance. And 10 810 2019 for South Pond in Brookfield. It's the Knee Basin Wyma Team Trail. And this one is for 928. 2019 on Quaybog for the Shootout Series Bass Trail. I would like a motion to you approve have a motion these. To approve, please. Second. Special permits. All in, any discussion on any of them? All in favor? Aye. Aye. The thousand fishermen still come to town. <laughs> and the good news is, someone had posted on Facebook that the uh, folks that were trying to get the money together to reopen the uh, uh, clam box. Um, are all set, so I don't oh. know if they have an opening date yet, but oh, they have a yeah. sign March. down. They said March. March. Yeah, they have yeah, a sign down day. there. It says it's under new ownership. Yep. Nice. Date is March. Very nice. exciting. Yep. Yeah. Okay. The next one is here is to sign the Cooley Hill deed. Finally. Finally. Mo yeah. Motion to sign the Cooley Hill deed. Second. Uh, any discussion on this? No, um, just so we all know that a piece of property in the town of North Brookfield, owned by the town of Brookfield, no longer is owned by the town of Brookfield. And it's being sold to Midnight Harvest Tree Nursery. Um, they're, a, they're from... Connecticut. Win Winsocket, Rhode Island. Oh, Rhode Winsocket, Island. Rhode Island, yeah. Yeah. I know that's good to get 
We won't have to have that. Where are we signing? Oh, that's done. Now we're this up. Now, that's I think there was a tab. Oh, here is your head right. Okay. That's good. Something that we're getting off our hands. Yes. A significant liability. Yes, it is. It's been a big liability to the town. It's too bad. It's, I mean, that with the dam and everything, because it is a nice piece of property out there. Like a cell phone manicure? 5,000. to have a motion to reopen the special town meeting. We yeah. have that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. All right, we're going to start off our first one here is article is article 1. We have copies for everybody. Okay. The first one here is um, to see if the town will amend Chapter 15 of the town's general bylaws, personnel bylaws, by adding a new section after existing section 11 as follows. New hires, department heads, in recognition of the need to attract and retain qualified and experienced personnel, the Board of Selectmen may provide in, it, in its discretion and upon recommendation of the appointing authority if different than the Board of Selectmen for benefits that exceed the benefits forth in this personal bylaw for newly hired department heads. This discretion is intended to be utilized only in such circumstances where it is determined that the provision of additional or greater benefits is necessary to secure the employment of a particular individual should be exercised and the due consideration of fiscal and budgetary constraints and is subject to appropriation and any limitations imposed by state law. I would like a motion to put this on the yeah, special town motion. meeting law. Second. All in f any discussion on this? All in favor? Aye. 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 You're talking about skill, attracting skilled positions yes. into the town. It's because, a very difficult thing. Oh, it is. It's getting more and more. Any of the positions that are, we have here in the community, are they getting more involved? Okay, and this is one um, that came from the fire chief, and it was um, it's it's a uh, prior year bill, and it, he I guess he uh, it's a sum of money to pay a prior year bill for the recreation committee, and uh, it was for the recreation committee used an amount set up by the fire department to purchase a flagpole for the Louisville, and the invoice uh, is from June. 2018 and it's for $81.67. I would like a motion to place motion, this on. Motion to add it. To add it onto the wall. Second. Okay. So actually, isn't there two though? Isn't it a total sum of. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. it is two. There's okay. A, there's a total sum actually. The total sum. Just, so, so let me. Okay, I'll go back wanna, then. Do we, we want to rescind that we, vote? Yeah, we want to rescind that total? vote and go back. The total sum. Of that is six hundred ninety-three dollars and thirty-seven cents. So that's the additional sum. Yeah, that's so the, it's the two of them together. That's the two of them together. So oh, eighty-one sixty-seven. Yeah. No, actually. No, they're, no, they're it's two this. separate ones. We got to add those two together. So. Right. So what is it? Six nine three thirty-five. And eighty-one sixty-seven. So it's seven seventy-five oh four. Right. So I think we just put it as a prior year bill, and we can get that. In yeah, motion. we'll get the figure later. Okay, right. Karen, where, the yeah. sum of money. Where were the um, other two? Well, there's no more because the, remember the other one uh, was about the nuisance for the dog, and yeah. Michelle said no. Oh, she, she said no. Okay. Yeah, she said it should, it should actually wait until the annual town meeting because there okay. shouldn't be any bylaw changes at all. It's 
except right now you have to do the first yeah. one. Okay. But also, there's a state mandate that Mike Stinkin might work. He might be able to use that to his advantage okay. to do something. All right. And, meanwhile, and then another one that we want to put on is um, when the wiring inspector came in this yeah. evening. It's called a control contract 80-20 split. And he is going to get all the wording to Karen probably even by tonight. And I'd like a motion to put this on. Motion to add the recommendation of the wire inspector. Yeah, I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. I do have one question. Okay. And we, we don't need to include it in this uh, special town meeting, but for the annual, I think we had talked about at one point uh, officially moving the town meeting to June. Because um, our bylaw currently reads that it would be the Friday after the election. Yeah, it's the first election, Friday after finalized. the election. Yeah. So uh, we may want to finally go ahead and, and reconcile that. I don't know that we need to get it on this one, but we should just make note of it to put it on this next day. So you want to go the first Friday and we'll do all the non money? Is that what you're talking about? No, no. I think I'm a little bit of both. A actually. little bit of both, actually. Yeah. yeah. Set the timing of it, but then also set set the recommendation of how to handle it to, to, to actually work to two nights. Yeah, yeah okay. so. Or work towards yeah. two nights. I don't think we, I, I don't think we, well, and actually if we set it so that we, we say we did the first Friday in June, we could always set the continuation date to be a, Oh, some so you don't want to do it then? Oh, I thought you were talking about how you wanted to do it the first Friday after the, after the election. Because that's how it used oh, to be. Oh, right. Okay. That's what, I thought that's what, what you meant. That's what you wanted to do. But you want to do it the first Friday. Well, I, I don't know. Maybe that's just the discussion. <coughs> no, I, I can't. No, I think we should probably wait until um, probably the first Friday in June, and then we'll do a continuation. Right. I was I was recommending that at some point we change the bylaw to state that the oh, first one oh, will I'm be sorry, in I June. Oh, I misunderstood you. Yeah, yeah. Well, we should add that to the annual. Yeah, that's right. another so one. So we should just add, add it for the right, annual. Yeah. We don't necessarily need to take care of it this yeah. round, but I think it would be a good thing to put on the annual to yes. go ahead and officially move yes. to June, mm -hmm. since we always wind up waiting until June anyway, so we might as well have the bylaws say what we actually yeah. do. So, And um, then then from a structural perspective, absolutely, we could hold one that's the non-money mm, stuff yes. that first Friday in June and then save the money stuff for yeah. as, as late as we need to we, and, yes. and toward, and, yeah, you know, so we there know are better numbers to, from the state. Yeah, we know we'll have our free cash and, you know, what's yeah. going with the state. All right, so I would like a motion to close the warrant. Do you have that motion? All Second. in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. So what else we got here to take care of? Okay, then we have here, uh, there's nothing in other Perm we, permits, letter. permits letter here. Yes. So we all have, here's a copy for everybody. Okay. This is a little bit of an update. Uh, on the Murray Bridge, the uh, committee has funds for the next two years. Beyond that, they, it will require a $300 a year for the flag placement. $50 per year for flower replacement handled by volunteers, and the highway will continue to mow. Uh, the trees were planted by the state, so no funding uh, is planned for their maintenance. And then the cherry trees, the highway department has agreed to remove dead and dying trees and restore the area of the replaced trees. Initially purchasing and planting of replacement trees will be funded by Appleseed. It's from grants. Tree trimming and maintenance is an open discussion pending bidding from an outside vendor versus work to be done by the highway department. Funding sources to be determined. The fire department has agreed to water newly planted trees. Appleseed will continue to apply for replacement and care of trees, for f but future cost may be the responsibility of the town. And it says that's the attached. So has he changed? Um, since he has spoken to this us. This is just more addition. It's yeah, starting, no, yeah, he, set, starting to get more solid yeah, as far as yeah. who's doing what. Who's doing what, yeah. And, and so this, this is a great segue to say mm -hmm. that at 6.30 on February 13th, next Wednesday, there will be a open space meeting. One of the issues within the open space activity is the larger list that Kermit provided to make sure it's reconciled mm -hmm. with the 10 pages that are in the old um, open space yeah. uh, document to make sure we haven't missed anything. What this really says is that we've missed over these last seven years a number of things that we have, haven't maintained and taken care of. Kermit's made us aware of it yes. with these documents. Mm -hmm. 
and what we can hopefully do is prioritize and make sure that everybody, including the advisory, are well aware mm -hmm. that these are activities that we need to be uh, thinking about how, how to how to fund, uh, whether through volunteers or otherwise. Well, maybe we can um, take and. Um and if Ken wants to take one for when you have your meeting, there's an extra copy here yeah. that you can bring and show to the board members. You're welcome. Good. So is there any you know, something from Charter that came to that's not on the Something from Charter too? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Effective on or after February 15th, uh, Spectrum TV Silver Package will no longer include Cinemax and it's related to Cinemax channels. The monthly a la carte subscription may reduce from $15 to $9.99. Spectrum TV Gold package will no longer include Cinemax, EPIX, or their related channels. These services will be available for prescription as a la carte only services. The monthly a la carte subscription for Cinemax EPIX and their related channels will each be reduced from $15 to the following rates, Cinemax $9.99 and EPIX $5.99. So it's pricing for a monthly a la carte TMC subscription service will be reduced from $15 to $9.99. If customers like to subscribe to any of these a la carte services, which are now available outside of the package, they can visit spectrum.com get channels to to view a current spectrum lineup and uh, for questions uh, they can call 1-855-70 spectrum and uh, customers may downgrade or disconnect service without charge within 30 days of receipt of this notice and you can get in touch also with Melinda Kinney at 207-253-2217 or via her email at melinda.kinney at chatta.com. Sounds and like I'm, pressure from YouTube. Oh, it does. <laughs> or Netflix. Or yep. Netflix, exactly. So I guess this is it. So motion to adjourn. Well, motion Second. to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Seven, seven. We'd like a motion to approve these. have a motion these. to approve these. Second. Special permits. All in, any discussion on any of them? All in favor? Aye. Aye. The thousand fishermen still come to town. <laughs> and the good news is someone had posted on Facebook that the uh, folks that were trying to get the money together.